cat babes so this is my third Halloween tutorial of the Halloween season and I'm super excited about this one not only is today my birthday but I figured I would come back and do this really interesting and cool look which took me about an hour and a half to accomplish um, but all you're gonna need is liquid latex cotton balls um, your regular foundation, glue, nails of course, and any eyeshadow palette that has browns and black in it will do perfectly for this look. So what you want to do, go ahead and draw an outline on your face where you want the look to start. Make sure you put um, glue on anything hair wise so that you're not pulling your hair out when you take it off because it will pull your hair out. And then going in with the liquid latex that I got from Walmart for like 10 bucks, just go ahead and start placing that on your face and then go in with cotton balls and start filling it in and laying it flat. You can either use the cotton balls like I am or you can go in with um, toilet paper or tissue paper to make it even flatter. But I wanted this to look chunky like it was being pulled off my face in a sense. So that's why I went in with the cotton balls. Now I will let you know that um, you want to make sure that you prep your face a little bit better than I did. Just so that way when you go and take it off it doesn't hurt as much. Or you can go to Spirit and buy Spirit Gum Remover which will help remove the liquid latex. That way you don't hurt yourself if you go to pull it off. But just go ahead and put liquid latex in the areas that you want it to be placed in and then you're going to go in with cotton balls and lay that over your liquid latex. This part you don't have to wait for it to dry just because I wanted the cotton balls to sit and I didn't want to get them wet first because I wanted to be able to um, stretch them out and move them around how I saw fit for it to look. Now that I have most of the cotton balls laid down, you want to go over the top of them with the liquid latex. You will have to go over this a few times just because there is a lot of cotton. That way it's covered in the liquid latex so that when you go to put the nails in, you can peel it or pull it apart, as some would call it, to put the nails in so that they'll stay. Um, if you want to make this a quicker look and you don't want to do it like this I would suggest putting the cotton balls and the liquid latex first and then putting them on your skin but have them stretched out the way you want them first just because I did find I was having a little bit of trouble getting the liquid latex to stay on the cotton balls after I had placed them on my face because um, they want to move when you make them wet from the liquid latex so if you want to make it easier on yourself, put them in the liquid latex first. And then take the liquid latex, because you want this look to look like it's not just your face, but part of your, your body. Go ahead and put liquid latex down your neck and a little bit on your chest, because we're going to make it look like you've been hammered all over the face and down your neck a little bit. But the liquid latex in this process will take a good 
10 minutes to dry. If you want it to go faster, use a um, blow dryer or a fan to dry it quicker. Now that we have the liquid latex sort of semi-dry and in place where we want it, go ahead and take whatever sort of nails that you want, thick ones, tiny ones, and start to place them where you want them. I did this while it was still wet because I didn't want to have to go back with a ton of liquid latex to make them stay. Um, but I will let you know that this was hard to put them in because the liquid latex and the comp balls don't really um, puncture as well as tissue paper or toilet paper but what I would suggest is put the nails in after you do your foundation and your nail your nails sorry after you do like like the design that you want on it first because I found it a little hard to get it around the nails like the foundation and stuff because I had already put the nails on and I couldn't get behind the nails so I just went in with the eyeshadow I wanted to use behind it in order to make it look like the nails were embedded in my skin. So I put the nails wherever I thought they would look the best at. There is no rhyme or reason for where I put them. I just thought they would look nice where I was placing them. Because my inspiration, even though it doesn't really look like it, I thought of the hammer from The 13th Ghost. That is one of my all-time favorite movies. But I figured this would be something along the lines of the burned woman and him from the movie. Another good thing is, is when you're placing them, just make sure that you add a little bit of liquid latex around some of them. That way they don't move. Because these nails are a little bit heavier because I wanted them to look a little bit thicker. But you can also go in with like the smaller size nails if you don't really want them to be that big. And be careful when you're doing this as well so you don't poke yourself because they will poke you because they have sharp ends and you don't want to hurt yourself trying to do this look. I kept poking and pulling my hair out because I accidentally got the liquid latex in my hair. Now the ones on your neck, you will have to put liquid latex around them because I didn't do that many layers of liquid latex on my neck. Just because I didn't want it to look bulky, I wanted it to look like the flush was coming off of my neck. That's where more liquid latex comes in and is useful in that area. And be careful, like really careful if you're going to put anything by your eyes or towards your eye because you do not want to poke your eye out. A 
All I can say is this is not a kid-friendly tutorial, so please do not try this on a child. Now going in with any foundation that you use, just go ahead and put that one on the other side of your face as well as all over the liquid latex to make it look like it is part of your skin. And be careful that you don't rip the nails out because I almost did that a couple of times trying to put the foundation on. This is why I would suggest putting the foundation on first before you go in with the nails so that way that is pre-done and you don't have to worry about trying to fix it or covering up the liquid latex with the foundation because I did have an issue here where the liquid latex would not take to the foundation but it's easy to cover up if you um, mix eyeshadows and stuff but it is a little annoying when you're sitting there and it's not covering up because it will make you frustrated I know I got frustrated with it but in the end it did turn out the way I wanted it to so just go with it if you feel like you can do it with the nails already on by all means go for it because it's fun to give a different look to everything but everybody has different ideas than the next person so just have fun be creative and don't let anybody stop you from doing what you feel you can do. I never thought I'd be able to do something like this and I was like I'm gonna do it and I did it and I looked at it and I was like man I did it so try it. You only live once and you want to make the most of what you have now going in with face powder this is the same color as the foundation. I just wanted to go into the areas that I couldn't get the foundation into and cover it up as best as I could so that it wasn't white. Now going in with scab blood, just go ahead and put that around the areas that you put the nails so that way those areas do stand out. This scab blood you can get at Walmart or you can get it at Spirit or Ben Nye or any like cosmetic special effect place you can get. I will say it is cheaper to get it at Walmart when during Halloween time. So if you can hit up the clearance section when they clearance it out, do it because this stuff will last you forever in a day. And it is very hard to manipulate as well because it's thicker. So I would say be a little rough with it. That way you can place it where you want to because it does not move that easy, which is a little annoying. But then again, the look that it gives when you lay it down and everything is amazing. I think this is one of my favorite products because it looks chunky and messy and that's kind of what I was going for so it makes it more fun like that. Do you, any of you guys like to create special effects looks on your own time at home? If you do, leave me a comment below and show me a picture of what you do because I would love to see other looks and ideas from you guys. This part is hard because cotton balls and liquid latex, they move a lot so you got to be really careful that you don't rip your mask that you're making off with the scab blood because it doesn't go on that easy.
Then going in with just regular like synthetic blood that you can get at Spirit. Um, I just put that all over the top of it because I wanted it to look like burned skin. But we will be going over the top of it with different colored foundations like dark browns and a, a black shade. So just place it all over what you've covered up with your foundation and just pat it out. You don't have to do all of it if you don't want to, but in the end result will look the same with just doing the eyeshadows. And play around with it. Like, it doesn't just come out the way you want to the first time. Normally it doesn't, but if it does, that's amazing. But just play around with it. Like, I would sit there and I'd looked at it a little bit and I was like, oh, it could use more here, it could use more there. Just don't second guess yourself because that's when you'll be like, I can't do this. And I don't ever want you guys to feel like you cannot do something like this. Because believe it or not, I only really started to do liquid latex more so this year than any other year. Just because I was like, this year is going to be different. I can do something different this year. And... That's why you've seen more liquid latex looks this year than you did last year. Because this year, I told myself I could do this. Now going in with the Morphe 3502 palette, I'm using the darker brown shades in the palette and the light brown shades. And I'm just mixing those in and around my entire messed up part of my face and just blending. Now this part will take a little bit because you got to be careful. Make sure you use brushes you do not like because this stuff does get in the brush and I wouldn't want you to use a brush that's your favorite and then you have to throw it away because you can't get it out. Now just strategically place the browns all over the place. Blend, blend, and blend. I cannot reiterate this enough. Blending is always going to be key, the key in this step just because you want to make it look like it happened in that moment. And when you rush, it doesn't come out the way you want it when you do that. So you notice how it's starting to look real when you're doing the different colorations with the, the dark and the light browns. Just keep doing it and take your time. It took me over an hour and a half, maybe two hours to do this. So it's not easy. Like the video may show you 23 minutes, 25, half an hour, but we speed it up and it is a lot longer than what I'm showing you. I don't want you to have to sit there for an hour and watch me show you how to do this and things like that. I want you to see the final product and how you can personally achieve it. And I went in with the dark black shadow right here because I wanted to kind of cover up the spots that I didn't put liquid latex. So that way it looks a little bit burnt and scorched. That's why I went in with the dark black right here. And later on I will take more of that black off my nose. You'll notice that it's gone later because I didn't necessarily like that at all. So that will be gone later on when you get to the end of the video. And I will let you know, I didn't know how this was going to turn out, if I was going to like it, because I was just going in back and forth with the browns and the black, all on the same brush, so I didn't know if it was going to come out nice or not. But it looks like somebody punched me in the, the chest when I was done with it. I don't know how I managed to do that. But I will say this is one of my favorite looks that I've ever done before I started YouTube. This is one of my favorite.
So just keep blending, like I said, and you'll know when you're you're done and you are happy with it. So then going on to the next step, taking the same palette, I went with a dark brown to do this eye look. Just so it matched a little bit of what I was going for on the burn side. And then just blend it out. And then going in with an even darker brown to make the outline look smokier. I love these colors because it's so like me. And then going in with a bronzed gold, I put that on the lid and then I went in with a white gold color and I put that over the top so it was more vibrant. After putting the concealer on your face, go ahead and put the powder that you like over it and the powder on your your neck, your forehead, and your chin. You're just going to go ahead and do your other side of your face the way you would normally do it. And then going in with a bronzer, go ahead and bronze that up because you want that to stand out as well. And then make sure you use a really bright highlight because you want it to stand out as like a focal point for people to look at you. And then going in with any dark black eyeliner, go ahead and put that on the top and bottom of your lower lid and eyelid. Make sure you do your brows too because your brows have got to be on point. Got to have that. <laughs> Sorry, I was having a momentary conversation. Constantly talking. And then going in with your favorite mascara. Put that on your lashes. You can put lashes on if you want. But like I said before in previous videos, not a fan. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already to join the cat family. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye guys.